Well, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Double you, double you, double you, Don. <laughs> what did you just say to me? I said, double you, double you. What does that mean? I don't know. I was like doing uh, like uh, a website, but then I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, naturally, I thought that you were going into W-O-W. W-O-W, not just W, it's doubled you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have gotten me into trouble if I'd have said W-O-W. Now, I wonder why Sarah would call me on my fucking phone when we're in the same building. Hello? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it seems like she should be on this podcast rather than calling you while you're on the podcast. That hardly even makes sense. Hold on. What did you say, Sarah? Oh, does she need to be admitted? She may need to be admitted to the meeting. No, it doesn't say that the meeting host will let me in soon. I think you should... Uh... What you should do is go fuck yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, dad's going to... When? No, wait, no, no, no. Dad's... dad's wait, I look, found you guys. You're in. I got it. Okay, all right, bye. Yeah, because I got out and I let you in. If I had gone down, I wouldn't have, you know, been able to see that I joined the meeting. Right. And now it is interesting I can't that, hear y'all. that you've joined the meeting only at the eye level and above. Yeah. Just peeking above there the... There we go. There we go. Just peeking about <laughs> like that? Yeah, I do. I do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, good. Just eyes and forehead for this one. I think that's fine. It's the eyes edition. Yeah, eyes and head. I, I mean, I'm. I don't even know if y'all can see me or not. Doesn't matter. How it bit. doesn't. You're a little foggy. Yeah, well, that's normal. Yeah, you have that kind of macabre lighting again, where <laughs> I don't know what the fuck your your setup is down there. Like if you're running a haunted house like... out of your basement. Or... No, 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 no. It looks like he's podcasting from within the can a can of spaghettios. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. I was gonna say from within inside of the the belly of a beast, literally. <laughs> yeah. Appears named spaghettios running from the walls. Uh, it's not that. It's not that hideous or macabre, folks. I mean, I'm in a sound booth. There's some. You're right, it's more comical. Well, there's red carpeting in the sound booth. I'll admit that, and also the sound baffles are kind of a purple. So, when you combine it with the fluorescent lighting that I have, kind of coming up from the floor, it does make it look as if I'm bathed in blood. So, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's exactly Try the to... kind of excuse <laughs> that someone bathed in blood would give. Exactly. Try to explain it all you want. We know the truth. Right, that I'm bathed in blood of some how animal. How else? Well, oh, oh, well, you say animal, but how else <laughs> to keep your youthful countenance? It's true. There's nothing that improves the clarity and skin tone more than the blood of a young boy or girl. Fresh, of course. Fresh. Only the freshest for you, Dad. Thanks. Fresh and pickled. Yes. All right. So, um, you know, let's get right to it. Why don't we really get to it old school, the way God intended it? Welcome to A Shin Show. I'm your host, Pete Shin, podcasting from an undisclosed location on the East Coast. Joining us, my three kids, Nicholas Shin. Sarah Shin, Noah McCone, all from different locations. Sarah and Nick, broadcasting from an underground bunker in a sub-basement beneath a cornfield in the Midwest. Noah, somewhere in northern Florida, moments from the Georgia state line, also in an undisclosed location. And here we all are, together on, oh, I don't know, about day 22, 23 of quarantine. Maybe it's longer than that. Who can say anymore? Maybe it's three. It does feel like a small age has passed. Yeah, yes, I indeed. feel like you should call it a semi-disclosed location instead of an <laughs> Yeah, no, it's pretty disclosed. Especially man. with Noah's, that was pretty like specific. Yeah, <laughs> moments from the Georgia line. Jeez. Uh, well, I mean, there's a there's a pretty long border in yeah, Florida. Yeah, there is Georgia. there is a long a long border, but you know. Yeah, so, okay. there's a well-known area that people actually live at, and, like uh, near Valdosta. For example, no, let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You did it yourself last episode. Fully yeah, disclosed. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you right. did. Fully, we're fully disclosed coming out of somewhere near Beldos. All right, very good. Uh, yeah, not that you or, or, or Sarah live in Omaha, Nick. That would be ridiculous. 
coming coming to you live from www.omanebraska.biz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, though, you do sound like a lot of guys I worked with at WOW Radio back in the day. Because yeah, you've well, got that you've got that quality of Nebraska accent, which is no accent. Yeah, clear and concise is what that is. Didn't they that call is. that like newscaster accent or something? They call it normal. That's what they yeah. call it. They call it no accent. It's they yeah, call that's... it pronouncing the words as they were intended to be pronounced. Definitely on fucking bias, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah uh, right. <laughs> well, you have that. I have some personal news. This oh, is fascinating oh. and all that, but I'm 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 bringing us back on track. Okay, mm-hmm. let's go for it. Please do. I bought. A vertical smoker i didn't buy shit murphy bought a vertical smoker and i spent three hours this afternoon putting it together okay so now a vertical there's my smoker. personal news that's good news now that vertical smoker that's obviously you're referring to smoking meats rather than tobacco or marijuana or crack or whatever or heroin. most people are vertical smokers i mean i don't i mean I like, smoke horizontally from time to time. <laughs> you, you shouldn't, though. I like, smoke really diagonally, shouldn't. too. You know, I smoke oh. in all angles. You know? <laughs> horizontally, in diagonally, fact, and everything in between. I think He's smoking right obtuse. now. <laughs> uh, so, 45 degree angles, you know, <laughs> all that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fair enough. But they call is... me Mr. Angles for many reasons, that being one of them. <laughs> yeah, but, that's, but the vertical smoker to which Sarah is referring, Sarah, is indeed a meat smoker, correct? Well, I mean, that's what it said on the box. Okay. Well, what else would you use it for? In realistically, you wouldn't use it for anything else. Realistically, I don't know. Imaginatively, all kinds of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's um, that's good. You mean like, could you make like homemade dog food? Do you think? Well, I suppose if you put Probably. any piece of meat in there and just let it burn, eventually it's dog food, right? I think so. Uh... Pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe coat it in pumpkin or something. <laughs> but I don't know why you said coat it in pumpkin. That doesn't make any sense. Sure it does. That's how you make dog biscuits is out of like applesauce and, and pumpkin puree. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Are, have you made well, any of those before? Yes, and I've had them made for me. So, I, I, And when you say had them made for, for you, you've eaten dog biscuits that have been homemade. I would eat a homemade dog biscuit. Uh, yeah, they have eaten like homemade dog biscuits. Yeah, There's no sweetness to them, which is what humans expect out of biscuits. Well, what do you what what did you think of them, Nick? Uh, I actually haven't had homemade dog biscuits. <laughs> Ooh, I just called you out on your bluff. Uh, you're right. I was just making conversation. All right. Well, all right. Fair enough. All right. But you have had homemade dog biscuits, and they're not sweet, and yet you enjoyed them anyway. Right, Sarah? Mm, I don't. I mean, my dogs enjoyed them a hell of a lot more than I did. All right. Well, that's fair because they were intended for the dogs, not you. Speaking of your dogs, uh, can you give me an update on Moose's? Uh, smoking habits uh steady no change <laughs> constant three packs right both horizontally vertically and at every other angle much like Nick. yeah okay. yep. upside down is his particular favorite that's when he hacks the worst <laughs> upside down all right so any other personal news the kittens are fine okay, thanks for good. asking well I, yeah well i didn't really think about them i'll have to be honest because because I am thoughtless, frankly. All right. So anyway, yeah. Rule. So, yeah, what about I, my fucking cats? Didn't ask about my fucking cats either. I asked about your personal news. When did you ask about my personal news? I asked everyone for personal news. <laughs> okay, I just didn't fork it over. Yeah. Yeah, that okay. sounds about right. Yeah. The cats. The cats are fine. Okay. Good. Do you have any, any other personal have, news please? this any week? Who thinks the cats have fleas? Who has? Who has thinks the cat has what? Jenny thinks the cats have fleas, but like I'm not super convinced. So get some front line. Know. Yeah, get some front line. It's also super easy to check. What, like, how do you check? Line? How do you check for? Oh, there's a lot of questions you, here. You no, it, it's easy to check. Yeah, you you look. You're like, <laughs> you know, you get in there and you look. I'm just saying I haven't seen them, but I you know I don't really wrestle the cats down to go digging in their fur a whole lot because they don't like that. Well, that's probably a mistake, obviously. If, I mean, you Look, can squash the flea beef right away, it sounds like. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether they have fleas or not. Just get them some frontline, and then if they have them, they'll go away. And if they don't have them, they won't get them. We've gotten – is that the, the squirty stuff on the back of their neck? Because we got that. That's what we got. Yeah, that, yeah. that is what that, that is. Shit? Okay, yeah, we got that shit. Okay, so you're, you're covered. Good. Yeah, no okay. need to examine them. You're insured. Oh. Dad, what's your personal news? Oh, what's my personal news? 
Well, uh, uh, you know, uh, here's some personal news. I had to take this. I don't have to take. I'm taking an optional class. All right. And in this optional class that is people of my profession are encouraged to take this class at a certain point in their career, right? Because if you With don't so take this class, you can't get promoted to the next position, to the next, you know, pay, pay level if you don't take oh. this class. Now, there's no guarantee that you're going to get promoted to the next pay band if you do take this class, but you cannot get promoted to the next pay band unless you complete it. Make sense so far? Yep. Now, as you know, the prospects for retirement in the next 15 months or so are pretty high. So as you can imagine, I'm not terribly motivated. And yet, with all this time on my hands, I completed today the draft of a, about a 2,500 word paper for this optional class that I'm not even sure that I need. How about that? Sounds like you're pretty bored, but yeah, sounds bleak. <laughs> yeah, it does, okay. doesn't it? Sounds it really, really does, really does. And well, and here's here's the rest of the news. The rest of the news is that Elsie at a certain point asked me for help, like stacking firewood. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got a hundred words, okay. And then I finished up about two hours later. So by the that other, is so typical. <laughs> yeah, it is so typical. That that is characteristic <laughs> of me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but then I was ready. Yeah. I, I was, and, and you got your paper done. So. Right. Then you. I was, of course. And well, the, the draft. draft. <laughs> yes, of course. The draft. I mean, I have to go back through it, obviously. It's a draft. But um, yeah. And of course, at that point, the chore with which Elsie required help was done. And so as a result. Yeah. I Here's some more personal news. Is yeah. As I was heaving this smoker onto a cart. Uh, carting it out of your local essential Menards, uh, I thought to myself and said out loud, look, I don't need a boyfriend, but if I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't have to deal with this bullshit. Right. That's, wow. That's, that's this, kind bu of this bullshit being a hundred pound smoker. That could just trying be a, to a man it. slave. It doesn't have to be a boyfriend. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's a yeah, good point. I feel like boyfriends are easier to acquire but you're right i like the whole slave thing whoa yeah. showed my racism again <laughs> yeah i'll say you did way to go yeah i'm gonna back back off of that <laughs> i Look, think that's why what our what our titles are is <laughs> up to is up to uh me and this fictional boyfriend okay <laughs> <laughs> right uh, up to this two literally consenting adults one of which is not held in any sort of legal bond. <laughs> but bondage play is totally up for grabs, right? But, I mean, yeah, that's still on the board for sure. Legal <laughs> bondage. No. Legal. Legal, of course. Between two consenting adults, yes. Yeah. One okay. contract of indentured servitude, of long, lifelong indentured servitude between two consenting adults. Yeah, that's oh, also exactly. known as marriage. That's what that's called. <laughs> Yeah, but some involve leashes. You know, they're separate. Yeah, but see, I already. Like well, yes, and also I already kind of uh, blew the whole marriage thing yeah, by you, getting you... married to a woman and not a man. So, <laughs> boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean. Well, I mean, Elton John to get married a woman first too. You know what I mean? And That's true. Yeah, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, like, I don't want to live with this guy. That would be, oh, that's too okay. much. I just, I just need to call him every once in a while and be like, hey, come move the smoker for me. So you, you really need a rentable one, so it sounds like. Yeah. yeah. A rent a bitch. <laughs> that right. sounds, exactly. Precisely. But not too bitch because, you know, I need really rent a butch is what I need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I smell a website. Well, actually, I'd visit that website. Or flesh rent, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It's too vague. No, I need specific. That flush rent does not does not sound like a, like a lifting service. No, it does not. It doesn't sound like you're gonna. It'll no. get a lot of clicks though. You know. Oh, you'll exactly get all kinds well. of clicks. Oh, lots of clicks. You'll get traffic, yeah. and that's what you need. Yeah, that is what it really you need. sells itself, like the flesh. Yeah, flesh sells itself. Flesh sells. That's a classic <laughs> saying. All right, so here's my personal news. I got a restricted caller called me last night. Yeah. The first time they called me, like, I did not – let me just start the story by saying at no point did I ever have any idea who this person was, and I still don't. I don't know why they fucking called me. 
but they called me. I'm like, hello? I don't even know why I answered a restricted number. Usually I don't. But they called me. But what if? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. I called them, or they called me, and I'm like, hello, and it's some guy. And he's like, hey, man, what are you doing? Where are you at? And I'm like, no, and then I just hang up. And then he calls me a right back again. So I gave this dude the runaround for like 25 fucking minutes. Like I just annoyed him <laughs> so much you think- so long. I was waiting for him to quit until like eventually. Right. Like, so he calls me and he's like, what up, man? Like, what, you got any coke? You got any bitches? I'm like, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of bitches who like, they be, <laughs> He's like, they be twerking on OnlyFans? I'm like, yeah, and you can buy that video for $5. He's like, $5? I'm like, actually, it's $5,000 each. He's like, I can pay that, bro. I can pay that. I'm like, okay, uh, go ahead and give me your credit card number. And he'd be like, okay, here's my credit card number. He'd go like, 547. And I'd be like, all right, 562. And he'd be like, you're not saying the right. I'm like, all right, okay, I'm sorry, man. Take it from the top. 547. I'd be like, uh huh. 369. I'd be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I just got my paper and pencil. Start over again for me. Okay, five, I don't four, know seven. who was given who the runaround here, really, honestly. Oh, I did. This goes on for like 10 minutes straight. Like, okay, I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Go ahead. Start over one more time for me. Just take it from the top. I kept saying, take it from the top. And then eventually he's like, I'm like, wait, are you starting at the beginning? or the end it's like i'm so, why would i and i'm like is this the post office wait do you need my zip code he's like you said you need my credit card number. and i'm like you're in oregon right and he's like are you in oregon i'm like where do you think i am he's like you live in nevada and i'm like okay you caught me i live in nevada wait, are you in oregon and he's like he's like dude i'm like i'm like all right look man i'm sorry just this is the last time i swear to god <laughs> take it from the top one more time and we'll hash this out and he's like you take it from the top are we singing i'm like we can sing do you want to sing r&b do you know any isley brothers and he's like isley brothers i'm like He's like, do you know who Tupac is? I'm like, of course I know who fucking Tupac is, dude. And I know who Biggie Smalls is, too. And he's better than Tupac if you really want to get real about it. And he's, I'm like, do you even know any? As a matter of fact, Biggie Smalls samples the Isley Brothers in one of his songs. I will give you three chances right now to guess what it is. Or else, look, I'm not trying to be weird, man, but I can tell you're a young black man. And if you don't know who the Isley Brothers is or who Biggie Smalls is, I'm going to have to revoke your card. And I'm sorry. Those are the rules. I don't make the rules. So you have three chances. Go. And he's like, the Eisman Brothers. I'm like, you're fucking stalling, dude. You can't tell me any of this shit. You don't even know. And then I'm like, all right, I'm going to give you one more chance do you even know who freddie gibbs is and he's like freddie gibson i'm like all right dude you fucked up and then i just hung up <laughs> and then that was 25 minutes later he did not call me back after that yeah i i, I can see why so why was he calling you to to buy videos I, no dude i have no idea what he wanted he was asking me about coke he was asking me about bitches he was saying i was 30 he's like you're like 26 25 i'm like no <laughs> i'm I'm none of those things. And then, like, I, I don't know. I, like, it was someone. I did not know who it was. I did not recognize the voice whatsoever. So, you know, this is why I just use Google's uh, screening service. So that if I get a number I don't recognize, I just let Google handle it. And they, like, walk through a script or whatever. And then I, I can watch it on my phone. And if they answer questions like a human would and not like a crazy, deranged person on some sort of drugs, then I answer it. Hmm. Uh, what is that service? That seems uh, that seems pretty space age and fut- yeah, futuristic. Yeah, I like that a lot. Useful, it's just even. it's just on my phone. It's like Google's screening service. Do you have a Pixel? Yeah, I do. Okay, well that explains that. I don't think that what you're suggesting is available to people who aren't embedded in the Google Hive the way you are. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, I you might I'm be able to look at anything up. for that on the App Store. I don't know, but like. I, I was just trying to annoy this dude until he hung up, but he hung in there for a while, but then he started to disappoint me. Okay. You, I said, I gave you so many fucking chances. You don't know who Biggie Smalls is. You can't name a single Isley brothers song. And then you don't know who Freddie Gibbs is. I'm sorry. We got nothing more to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. He, he let you down. He did let me down. Well, he let me down, but I don't know who the fuck he was or why he called me, <laughs> but, or why you spent 25 minutes talking to him. Well, I know why I did that, because I was trying to annoy him. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty entertaining, uh, well, honestly. I, it was pretty good-natured, all in all. <laughs> right, on your part. 
<laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I didn't hear. At, Again, at no point who, was he like, I'm going to fucking kill you, motherfucker. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't none of that. It was just like, I'm pretty sure he was just trying to fuck with me, but I just fucked with him. Oh, well. I don't know about that, y'all. I kind of feel like y'all just kind of jerked each other off for 25 minutes. <laughs> like There was some mutual enjoyment I mean, getting out of that. Look, of course I was getting enjoyment out of that. I'm glad there was a little jerking, but there at the end, it was straight grill time. I was grilling him for information. He was stalling, and I knew he was, too. I'm like, you bullshitter, you don't even know, do you? Oh, heavens. Well, you're teaching Noah some new tricks, I can tell you that right now. About what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, about about answering strange phone calls. Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, I don't know. I just didn't know how to handle it, so I started getting crazy with it, and it was oh, fun. All right, yeah. so this this let me summarize the personal news thus far. The personal news thus far is that Sarah got a vertical smoker and endorsed and then retracted support for slavery, but then went on to <laughs> come up with a pretty banging idea about some sort of flesh rental service. So that's one yeah. piece that, that, that kind of happened. And then Noah... Close enough. Yeah, I, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. And then Noah uh, determined that he could no way, in no, in no way could he determine if his cats had fleas because it required looking so he just applied chemicals to them in a shotgun approach and then you nick uh the, the, you fucked with the guy for 25 minutes <laughs> because he had the audacity to call you and then i you know i wrote a paper is that yeah. basic does this basically sum it up yep now for some reason i feel like there's some judgment in that in that tone <laughs> in, in noah's synopsis <laughs> no not really at all. just just sprinkled throughout there was judgment but yeah that's fun judgment just I contempt it. it's fun contempt <laughs> dripping from the <laughs> dripping from his voice i call it fudgement because it's so is much that, fun is, this, is that what they're calling it now yeah that's what they're calling it quick kids oh. are calling it oh, cool. yeah anyway so uh well sounds like a great week for everyone then uh anybody so oh oh i finished castlevania the five game. out of five stars, man. Yeah, sure. five out of five. So fucking good. Have you seen that, Noah? No. You have Netflix. I do. Yeah, you got to peep uh, it. Yeah, watch it, bro. The first season's only four episodes. So, oh. and, they're, and they're 20 minutes. So it's Slow not like a whole fucking, it's not a whole hour long deal. And then the second season is like eight or 10 episodes. And then same thing with this third one that just released. But the third yeah. one. You know, at the end of the second season, it just kind of seems like everything's done. You know, like that's the end. I did not expect there to be a third season yeah. whatsoever. Hmm. And then boom, there it is. The third then, season. Yeah, and then boom, the third season. And I wasn't, I got to be honest, I wasn't a, a billion percent on board with the whole, like now these vampire sisters are just going to take up where Dracula left off. But I like how, I like how they worked it grew on me that idea yeah. grew on me and isaac his whole subplot was so fucking cool probably the coolest part of the whole season honestly agreed i, I Although, okay that. here's the thing dad since you had have you watched season three sarah no not yet but you've seen one and two i have okay so in season three this is kind of spoilers but it's not like major spoilers to the plot fucking it's isaac fine. yes who, is one of the forge masters one of the dudes who like makes night creatures essentially he, a necromancer if you will yeah a necromancer because he uses dead bodies he fucking keeps running into he'll go into a city with this little fucking cavalcade of monsters behind him who, and by the the way, are, look, who look very badass by the way yeah who look really fucking cool and they all look different they're all unique very i like it a lot but they're scary. They're monsters, okay? <laughs> they're clearly not human. They're not of this world. <laughs> no. They're drooling and shit. Okay? They, have, they got glowing red eyes. They have sharp fangs and big <laughs> yeah. claws. Muscular, yeah. most they, of them. They can jump like... Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so he shows up, and the guards are like, get the fuck out of here. And then Isaac, every time, is like, why is every fucking human trying to fucking... I try to help these people, and they just treat me like shit. I'm like, dude, Isaac, it's just cops. That's the common denominator here. Like, it's not every fucking human. Like, he meets this old sailor, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to take your boat and kill your crew. But the sailor, like, talks to him, and he's like, nah, like, you know, we're all fucking... He, like, shows them that not every human is a piece of shit. And right, but, but also, he also points out to him, practically speaking, 
dude, you can't really sail this ship with a crew of drooling monsters. Okay? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, what do you, my guys know how to do it. And also you're going to pay me. And then he does. But yeah, the drooling <laughs> monsters cannot operate. <laughs> right. They, they can't work the windlasses and whatnot. Yeah, that was a fair and They don't have the point. experience. <laughs> yeah, no. they, they, right. They lack sailing experience. They, they don't. But anyway, they have this big yeah. fucking heart to heart in the captain's quarters. Yeah. And then Isaac's like, okay, you know what? Maybe every human isn't a piece of shit. And then he rolls into town, walks up on some fucking cops with his <laughs> drooling cavalcade of monsters behind him. Like a right. cool. Yeah, and they're like, get the fuck out of here. And he's like, every fucking human on earth sucks. I'm like, dude, it's the guards. Like, stop bumbling into guards with your little army of monsters. Yeah. That- so what I'm, what I'm hearing here is that Isaac is a small town uh, conservative individual who goes abroad and then gets mad because people aren't speaking English. No, he's not conservative. He's pretty, no. he's pretty liberal. Uh, yeah, I think politically he would probably, you know, vote libertarian. Would be he my just guess. hates what it is, oh, is that he hates Oh, humans. he's one of those guys. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no politics in Castlevania at all. Other yes, than the politics is. of, you know, human vampire relations. And Dracula's court. There's, there's politics there. Yeah, not well, like true. Democratic or Republican politics. Right. No, no, no. It would be the wackiest more, shit of all time. <laughs> much more. Uh, what is that? A monarchy? Yeah. Yes. Mm, Aristocracy. Oligarchy. Yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's, a, it's definitely a monarchy because, I mean, you know, yeah, Dracula, Dracula yeah. calls the shots. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, he's, a, he's a tyrant in, and a, then, in a sense. And Hector got fucked. Me and dad were saying this. So you saw the end of the second season. So, Sarah, you know how Hector betrays, like the bitch talks him into betraying Dracula and then she fucks him over and br- Is he the throws him in one? chains. No, he's the white haired oh. one. He's the other forge master. Hector, the forge uh, master. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take your word for it. I do vaguely remember this. Yeah, you're gonna rewatch this, dog. But anyway, <laughs> I was gonna watch it today, but I then I didn't. Well, yeah, you had the so. smoker thing. We all know about that. Yeah, yeah. I watched one episode of My Hero Academia instead. My Hero Academia. Yeah, yeah. Great it's show. Anime. Great what? show. Is it okay? Well, I yeah. you know no... I I know yeah. you're not even for people. Well, yeah, lately these last few new episodes have been this is probably filler and it's pissing me off. But anyway. Yeah, for people who don't even like anime, a good anime show is Parasite. I may have already uh, endorsed you, you've that You've pimped one. that. You have pimped, pimped that. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't pimped watched it. Hard. it. It's, yeah, it's, you should watch it, dude. But it's with a P-A-R-A-S-Y-T-E, correct? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I'll try it. Uh, see, because I'll give that a try. I don't, I don't think Elsie will, but I'll give it a try. Give it a try and just do yourself a favor and skip through the intro song because that's probably going to make you turn it off right there. Just okay. skip through the oh. intro song. Okay. okay. Yeah, but then after the intro but song. But after the intro song, you are good to go, dude. It is butter. Going to be hick, hooked, hicked and hooked immediately. Well, because here's the thing. is like In a lot of anime, there's mm-hmm. a lot of fan service. There's like a lot of girls like, why are her tits so huge? Why is she fucking, why is this scene happening right now? You know what I mean? It's like, this is not. There's a lot of of male fan service in anime. Yeah, a lot. In Parasite, none of that. It's just straight up the story. story. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like phenomenal uh, animation. Animation? Yeah. Some, some, you can tell the studio had like a lot of funding. Hmm. All right. Well, okay. I'm sold. But yeah, Castlevania was good. So what do you, so besides Parasite, what are you guys watching? Uh, anything new this last week dude um, we're watching better call saul and this season is super good okay so this is season four you're on right or five four this yeah. is a new season or um, just new to this you is, this is just new to me this is last season i think season five is airing now but they just put season four up on netflix so oh i want to say real quick before i forget comedy central I was at my buddy's house last night and he had Comedy Central on the TV and it was getting to the hour where they start having infomercials and there was the, there's I saw a commercial for a chess set. It was the Republican Party versus the Democratic Party. Yes. Like Trump is the king, Pence is the queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I dude. enjoy that. I could not fucking tell if it was real or not. <laughs> like if it was a joke. I was waiting for it to be like I, I still now can't tell like if that was real or a joke, you know. It's probably real. That that would be my guess. Like that seems like I'd buy it. You shouldn't. No, just wait for <laughs> actually buy. What you need to do, Noah, is buy a three D three D printer, 
and then you know oh, get no. the plans for each piece and then just print the pieces. I got I got one better. Like go to investment. Walmart. Yeah. Go to Walmart. Get a real cheap like ten dollar chess set. Yeah. And then just print off people's faces and tape yeah. them to the chess That's pieces. A good one. That sounds <laughs> way more horrifying than just printing the whole thing. Yeah, like you really got to care a lot. You know? Yeah. That's like ruining the game of chess. No, but no, you know, you could you could totally just like put all of the faces, shrink them down, put them on one word page. You know, and then you put got it, one sheet to way. print out. All of these ideas have talked me out of it. I'll, okay, I'll well, all that. right, that's good. Okay, that's fair. But it did make me think of like a, a kind of like a serial killer printing out little faces of his victims to put on a chess set. Right. I yeah. see you like to cut the eye holes out of women's faces in magazines. My son <laughs> likes to do that as well. <laughs> Mister God. Do you mind if we come in for just a minute, Mr. God? Okay, Mr. God, we won't take more than a minute of your time. <laughs> I know that's from like uh, Hunger Teen Aqua Force or something. No, it? it's, first off, it's Aqua South Teen Park. Hunger Force. Yeah. Put some respect on it. Second, <laughs> it's from South Park. Okay, got it. Uh, Oh, was not always funny though. Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. that Aqua Teen Hunger Force, man. That that's a still today a hell of a show. It, yeah, that did grow on me. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like one of those shows where it's just so fucking good, but you can't really explain why. You just you just gotta watch it. Exactly. Yeah, so I won't belabor that point. All right, so. Nothing else. Anybody watch anything else interesting or exciting? This Witcher. Week? I'm getting into the Witcher. What you are the getting third into third episode. Ooh, do you like it? Fuck yeah, dude. Like it. You know that first episode was kind of a little That's slow funny. until the end, and then the end he starts slicing everybody up. Then the second episode, it's like some different shit. They're mostly true to the game. Uh, I don't like that he doesn't carry two swords. Like Witchers are supposed to have two swords, one for men and one for monsters. But whatever. That's a small. I have to admit, I thought you were going to say one for men and one for women. <laughs> well, the men, the one for men is also for women too. Oh, I see. And, yeah. and the, well, no, 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 no. The one for women's in his pants. You see. Yeah. Uh, uh, whoa, you're uh, a yeah. Zing. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. First, the boy. She's got a book coming out. Joke? I mean, come on. <laughs> the one for women's in his pants. <laughs> that's his dagger dude we were joking we were joking uh we we're talking about nick doing stand-up right yeah and murphy goes you're funny why don't you try telling stories and i'm like no 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 look i don't have like i get real self-conscious about halfway through telling a story and then it all kind of falls apart here's what you can do for me i got good zingers you hire me to be your heckler <laughs> and you know you're show up that about would a be good that yeah, would be good just to have someone heckle me that I know that I could just roast to a yeah, trillion Yeah, exactly. Beat. But here's exactly. the thing. If I'm on stage, though, and I get into it, like, it, it can't be you. You're my sister, and I care <laughs> right, about right. the relationship we have. You know? <laughs> I might take it, like, way too far. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? Maybe, maybe your half-brother would be perfect for that. Yeah. There we go. Fine. There we go. Um, that'd be fine. No, are you down? You're, you're a man. You can uh, take the roasting. Uh, yeah, but I'm not. I'm not big on heckling, man. You know, I'm. Just, I'm, I'm all positivity here. Here's. I'll just give you one line. It's super easy. Just like two and a half minutes in, just go. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> That's no, I all think you it gotta be, do. I honestly think it would be funnier if he was a positive heckler. It's so like you're in the middle of your set and he just yells real loud, you're doing your best. <laughs> you're doing great work, bud. And then no I freak out on him anyway. Yeah. Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Who fucking asked you? That was, in that was the a big great sick. rant. Great rant, guys. What's that, Noah? That was in the big sick. He like the, the blonde chick heckles him and he's like, well, even positive heckling is bad heckling, you know. And then he fucks her or something like that. Oh, gee. And then he fucks her. And then <laughs> he enters her on stage. <laughs> Here's the difference. In this movie, they show it. They show all of it. And this goes on and on back and forth for 90 or so minutes until the movie just sort of ends. Are we talking about porn? <laughs> porn? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. I'll be honest with you. Oh, uh, yeah, but, um, okay. So in the meantime, hey, good news, folks. Looks like uh, the whole country is going to be opening up here in a couple weeks. Sound oh, good? Oh, wow. We're cured. Yay. 
we're cured, we're cured, we're cured. <laughs> I didn't I'm, know it would be that easy. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you know, you just got to be careful, uh, whatever that means. Basically, I guess, uh, I, you know, at a it certain... It means yeah. go fuck yourself. <laughs> it means everyone, all the restaurants, all the stores are opening back up, but we all have to wear masks. I'm going to be wearing a Ronald Reagan mask just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the pig mask from Saw. <laughs> you have such a selection to choose from. Out of your so I got you something to drink. Oh my God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of maybe, you know, throw back Mike Myers mask from the Halloween films. Did you know that was supposed to be uh, William Shatner? No. The Michael Myers mask is supposed oh. to be William Shatner. <laughs> Really? Yeah, like that this? mask is supposed to be a fucking Captain Kirk mask. What? Yeah, yeah. No shit. Yep. Well, they they must have stretched it out a little bit, right, or something. Uh, it did something to it. I, well, I think they bleached it. I don't think it's supposed to be that white. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. But it's just like yeah, it's like in the original Halloween movie, it was just a Captain Kirk mask that they fucking yeah. They probably stretched a little bit, but and now it's the Michael Myers mask, but. Wow, you know what? Behind huh. everything is William Shatner. That's right. He's watching always. Yep, <laughs> he is. And, right. A, a Canadian almost as famous as Noah. Almost. Oh. Almost. Yeah, it's I didn't true. Know he was Canadian. Yeah. yeah, he did a movie in Esperanto. What? Yeah, he did a movie in Esperanto. Now, Esperanto, by the way, is some kind of fake language. It's real. It's, oh, it's just constructed. Yeah, so it's a, nine million people speak it. That's like the population of Sweden. Yeah, whatever, dude. But no one, but no one from like a single country. There's no like country of Esperanto. I mean, it's unified. By yeah, but if how like people can widespread it, it is. if people can speak it and understand it, then that's a language. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's like ASL, right? ASL doesn't have. Yeah, I mean, there's not a country of language, fucking deaf but, people. There's just right, deaf people, right. as far as you know. Well, yeah, there could be some sort of elite underground deaf <laughs> secret society. I mean, it's a little more like Klingon in the way that it's kind of nerdy to know it, but yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of when you said it's a constructed language that people can speak, but, you know, it doesn't really, it's just made up. Hey, I'm thinking Klingon all the way, baby. Yeah, except it's a I mean, lot technically easier. Technically, all language is made up. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, yes, technically all language is made up in the sense that it is symbolic and that we communicate through verbal symbols. Yeah, yeah, but also all language was made up, though. Well, yeah, but English, you know, I had as its basis. In what? In what? Latin. Which was no, okay. no, no, made up. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What did you just say? English did not have its basis in Latin. It had its basis oh in Oh, my German. God. Okay, yeah, okay. German had okay. I don't care. Yeah. Where I did don't German care. get its basis? Let's go all the way back to the very first Proto-Indo-European. Okay, which was made up. Made up. No, it wasn't made up, man. It originated it, out of Greece. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about, Dad? Are you it, saying this shit was beamed into people's minds and everyone just knew <laughs> language the one Lord, day? yes. I think what he's trying to say is, like, you know, some words are made up on the spot and then just kind of worked in, and some whole languages are made up on the spot. And Esperanto's in the whole language one-time kind of category. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. No, you and I are seeing eye to eye for once on something. Okay. I guess. For yeah. That's your ass saved by Noah this time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just give you a demonstration of the original language from which all other languages have sprung, right? And oh, basically, I really like that. That also seems pretty, pretty uh, racist. I don't know how. What do you mean? But... What, do you, what do you mean? Racist? It, wasn't, it wasn't until you said that. Now it is because you said that. <laughs> you see what you've, what you've brought, what curse you've brought upon this land? I think... I think it needed to be brought. Though. I think oh, not. It never what? does. Why it never it? does. No, it doesn't. Absolutely right. not. I need. Okay. Hmm. All right. I mean, I just try and, in your ignorance. I just try and give you a demonstration, a good faith demonstration, and all of a sudden I'm getting labeled with some sort of identity politics. Wait, are primates offended? I've confused this to be offended by this. <laughs> I'm sure they could be. I'm sure we could offend what a champ if we like that? To. I don't know. I'm a primate and I sound like that. <laughs> 
I would like is, to like make a peer I review think journal. Kind of sound like that. Probably. Yeah, thank you, Noah. Man, Noah's the, riding the, to the, the, the rescue rules. today. Man, he's got on his white hat. Yeah, he's saving I'm... your fucking ass, bro, because you are painting yourself into a corner by yourself over there. Clearly, You're floundering. Right. It's horrifying. Well, in any event, yeah. So the point is. You speak Esperanto, and 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 Bill Shatner at some point did a movie in Esperanto for reasons which are unclear even to, to Canadians. Because he is Canadian. And, he is and Canadian. That's, a, that's a that's a cool weird Canadian thing to do. Canadians just do weird shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's I just, do. It's I kind do. of the deal. Yeah, and yet they're so polite. And <laughs> after they do something weird, they'll often apologize for it. Almost certainly. Yeah, certainly so. All right, so what are the plans for this week? I mean, you all are still under no movement orders. Other than, so, no, you're still working, though. You're working like that. Yeah, a, yeah. Working yeah, my ass off. We don't get that in Nebraska, bro. There ain't no no movement orders. just there's nothing's open. Oh, I yeah. see. Don't go anywhere and do anything at any time. PPE Yeah, there is not. no shelter-in-place order. I see. And that's working out for everybody, obviously. I guess. Well, <laughs> sure. Well, yeah. No one knows? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. knows. <laughs> the trouble I've seen. The, the COVID I've seen. <laughs> Nobody knows but you. <laughs> All right. So you, don't, you're, you can move. You're like the wind. You can do whatever. So yeah. what are you going to do with all that freedom in the next week? Freedom. I'm going to stay inside uh, and so, play video games. <laughs> uh, nice. We Good bought call. bicycles. Yeah. And so we'll probably take those out. We took them out on Saturday, and I fell off and then passed out. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. that's kind of some personal news you could have shared earlier. It, it was it was kind of embarrassing, so I wasn't yeah. going to, but now it's relevant again. Yeah. Uh, so we might do that again on Tuesday. Take it out on the old Keystone Trail. I took it to the. I took um. I brought Murphy to the trail that you used to take us to when we were kids. I was like, yeah. I've come full circle as an adult. <laughs> oh, man, you sure have. It, well, especially the part about you falling off your bike and passing out. Yeah. We have a whole tale about that. I was going to throw you in ice water, and an ex-wife said, don't do that, which was yeah. a, sensible, a sensible thing to suggest. Uh, and she's but, like, no, take her to the hospital. Yeah, and I did. You did. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good call. I will say that. Uh, so, but did, wh how did you fall off your bike? Uh, uh, because I wasn't looking and then I went off the path and then kind of just bounced off it. I see. So it was more of a steering issue. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. You, and then a concentration issue. Well, yeah. I was trying not to hit the guy in the other lane and then kind of just bounced right off the path. Yeah, and then a, and then a balance issue. No, well, I mean, no, I mean, I I remained upright, like I basically just bounced off the seat and then was standing straddling the bike, so it was fine. And then well, what part? Where did you pass out? Uh, well, in the next like three minutes. So well, I was I was stood up waiting for Murphy and Sandy to join me. Yeah, because I was in the lead, and then we were standing there talking. Uh, as I recovered, and then I was like, hmm, I'm going to pass out now. And then I did. Well, what I just do you think? The... sat down and recovered. Oh, what do you think the passing out was about? It doesn't seem related to going off the trail. Well, the only real. No, no, no. I mean, I would probably would have passed out when we got back to the car. It was just a matter of exertion. And then I had been kind of sitting, and then I stood up, and all the blood went to my feet. Oh, I yeah. see. I got you. So it wasn't like. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was, so it was a routine passing out yeah uh, except that time i i really usually usually i just you know get the spots in my vision or whatever but yeah. this time i i had to i had to have a sit down while the world slowly faded away and then came back okay so you did indeed lose consciousness uh no i was still conscious i just couldn't hear or see anything so <laughs> there's a difference there's yeah. a difference i was okay. still aware that right. you know i was essentially blind and deaf there for 45 seconds or so all right well anyway all's well that ends well you're alive i had to break that down yeah, it was though. all fine yeah okay it was all Cause, fine because it sounded like what it sounded like was a crash followed by no, no. unconsciousness that's what it sounded like but then you no, break no, it, it down more it's embarrassing all... than that yeah okay you just kind of just went off the trail and yeah. then had the blood rush to your head well, away from, but yes. 
Right. Well, there was a lot of blood involved, and it was rushing various places. Right. I, I think we can safely say that. Yeah. Glad we spent the time on this. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so, me too. I was super happy to, to not disclose that to begin with and then spend another five minutes on it. <laughs> and then dissecting it, breaking it down, which is That's why you right. didn't disclose it to begin with. Yeah. Shame on me for opening my big fat mouth in yeah. the end. No, I, I broke you down on that deal. Yeah, you did. I did. Well, I was concerned about your safety, and now I'm not, so I can make fun of you for it. Mm, great. <laughs> anyway you're going bike riding again this week i don't think you could go bike riding this week just because of all the snow you guys got it was gone the next day oh it was okay well but still you got like what three four inches of snow four or five jeepers creepers man that's that's bad weather in april in my opinion yeah okay no one cares all right so uh so you're gonna go bike riding again this week is that correct yep okay and Nick, what are you doing this week? You already said you're staying inside and playing video games. In fact, he's already left. He just oh, wow. left. That sounds that seems typical. typical yeah. I wonder if he had to take a giant shit. Well, uh, you know, he just got tired of hearing me talk, so So he left. I got tired of this and he left. Wow. That's that's pretty uncool. No, how about you? What are you doing this week? Oh, I'm working, man. And uh Jenny has left. Uh, she is now in Gainesville to get ready for her finals. Um, and so I'm chilling. So are they actually going to let her take those finals in a classroom? No, she's just there to not have any distractions with cats and all that, that allegedly have fleas. I still yeah. don't believe it. Look, yeah. Cats and boyfriends, obviously. I don't think I'm that distracting. I'm gone for 10 hours a day. So, you know. So in other words, she really just wanted to get the fuck away from you. Yeah, she was sick of my shit. And, you know, it's fair. You know, you need to change the scenery. You know, I'm kind of a dick. Like, I get it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm surprised because wasn't it one or two episodes ago where you were, like, the best quarantine partner? Like, you I felt pretty fast in the yeah, rankings. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's horrible. I don't know how I'll recover. Look, times change, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, things happen, you know? Right. And, and then uh, feelings go from one way to another way anyway it um, sounds like you and your girlfriend are going to spend some time this week breaking up so i hope what? you uh, <laughs> that's that's the impression i'm getting he didn't, yeah, he didn't the right, see that. definitely the right takeaway <laughs> okay good all right well i hope you enjoy that and um in the meantime <laughs> uh yeah so you're still working obviously you're working five days a week right five six days a week uh, no i'm working four ten hour shifts a week so three day week comes every week pretty okay. all right good and uh, and you don't get any stimulus money, right? No, I got it. Paid off loan. It's pretty good. All right. Good deal. Yep. Very good. Congratulations on that. Uh, everybody been stimulated properly? Properly yeah, stimulated? I think so. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's oh, why, he's back. That, that's what allows you to stay in your den and play videos, video games all day. Yeah, it does. It does. And the... Uh, kind contributions of my family. Yes. Like, really? Who's could, like, what, food? Yeah. Okay. My mom came through today and gave me so many fucking groceries. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and I literally had just gone gross. She refused to believe me when I told her I did not need any groceries. I'm like, I'm, she's like, I know you never asked for anything, so I know you're just bullshitting me. I'm like, Mom, I swear to God, I went to the grocery store two days ago. I don't need anything. Yeah, it's entirely possible I'm telling you I don't need groceries because I actually grocery shop. That's yeah. possible. Well, I don't. Taylor does. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so now I really don't need anything, you know, which is yeah. a good feeling. That's a great feeling. I've never had so much food in, in, my, in any domicile that I have been paying for myself. That's a good word, domicile. Thank That's you. great. Yeah. Well, I guess that means you probably wouldn't be hungry then for a fine meal from Ziff's. That's right, fine dining and a relaxed continental atmosphere right down there in Invercargill, New Zealand. Proud fake sponsor of a shin show for more than a hundredth of a century. And now, blessedly COVID-free. They're reopening in New Zealand big time. So get on down there and get your fresh koala burgers and your freshly slain kiwi right there at Ziff's. Nice. Did yeah. you say freshly slain kiwi, as in you're no. eating the New nope. Zealanders? Not no. only did okay. he not say that, but he has never said that. <laughs> I never <laughs> have. Never have. Never will. Never uh -uh. would. 
Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, that makes it slightly more suspicious. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why either. Yeah, no one knows, Noah. No one knows. Now shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. For forgetting. <laughs> so much to forget. <laughs> so much to forget. So little uh, time. Yeah. Scrub your memories. All right. So um. Yeah. So I this week gonna be working from home, and you know then doing laundry and cleaning the house and that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to finish that yeah. draft of that paper so i can avoid you know cleaning the house and doing the laundry yep sounds <clears throat> about right that does sound about right probably take some lot walks with elsie and lily the wonder dog that's probably on the agenda you know but i gotta say this whole uh you know don't leave the house thing really it's really kind of putting a cramp on my movement you know like like it should yeah like it should <laughs> so i'm I'm compliant i'm being compliant being a good person i did go grocery shopping this week oh well, as one must yes and i i went to a place i thought would have things and i was the sixth person in line for the store that opened up at 9 a.m and i went straight to the paper products aisle and they did have about Oh, I, I guess about a grand total of maybe 10 large packs of toilet paper, some in sizes of 24 rolls, one in a size of 36 rolls. I got that size. And then, but I was the last one. I was the only one to get that. Was so, it your brand though? It was not my brand. It was some, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. Normally I'm a Charmin man, you know? Uh, All right, quit plugging your shit, you fucking shill. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. Continue. (laughs) Your shill's all good. (laughs) This episode's not brought to you by Charmin, though. (laughs) Sure isn't. It's brought to you by Ziffs and the Church of Universal Energy and the Infinite Multiverse. But I'm not talking about that right right now. I'm talking about asswipe. And I'm a Charmin man, right? Mm -hmm. uh, It's both sturdy and it's soft, okay? Who doesn't want it? It's It's the Cadillac of asswipe. That's what okay. Charmin is. Am I right? <laughs> I guess. I, you I know, mean, I got to be honest with you. With you. you know, some are Scott people. Okay. You know. no, no, I don't this put is, this that much Charmin stock household. into my asshole. I'm, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm more of an really angel pay. soft guy. Okay. I'll admit that. All right. I know a lot of people are saying that, but I'm an angel soft guy. Okay. As You're long a- as it doesn't disintegrate in my hands, the toilet paper, that is. Yeah. Then I, I got to say, I, I wouldn't be able to. If you blindfolded me, my asshole wouldn't be able to tell which which one is which. It would. It would. You're lying to yourself. In the, in the plies, yeah. Like one ply versus two ply versus four ply. Like you feel that. In the that ply, different. yeah. That's different. But between Charmin and Angel Brand. Stop and Ass Fuck McGee, I don't know which <laughs> We blindfolded 150 assholes and we put them to the test. Oh man, there's a commercial in there for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, so Frankly, no, you're gonna be, I, yeah. Go I ahead. haven't even I haven't even been using toilet paper. I've been using one ply serviettes. So that's, what are, that's where I'm at. What, what are napkins. serviettes? Napkins. 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 Okay, the chow, like like the chow hole napkins. You know? I got it. Okay. Ooh, one ply, huh? Yeah, it, well, I mean, they get the job done better than you think. They're, like, stiffer than normal toilet paper, so you get a nice... There's no disintegration problems. Oh, yeah. well, that's good. That's it's probably horrible for the plumbing, but fuck it, it's not mine. Well, that's not your concern. You're, um, although you are not a plumber, so it could come back to bite you. It could, but this also... Yeah, I'm renting, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm renting. It's their problem. Fair enough. Okay, so, yeah, it, but here's the big reveal, right? The brand was not Charmin. It was Angel Soft. So, Noah, you'd, ah! been, a, you'd have been in hog heaven there. But it's, I, so, it's a good brand. It's a good brand. It's, it's no, a good brand, man. It's no fucking Charmin. I'll tell you that. It's just not. It's just not. It just doesn't compare, man. I mean, who says angels are soft anyway? I mean, well, where is that written? Only on a toilet paper bowl, wrapper, com- compartment thing, holder. Yeah, that, dude. Yeah. Anyway. So, but I, the point is that I went grocery shopping and there's still a lot of things that are out. And I will say, if you're paying any attention, a lot of food meat processing, big meat processing plants are going down. So if you don't have meat right now, you might want to buy some. Or go vegetarian. That's a good idea too. Hashtag sustainable. Hashtag low protein. Hashtag anemia. Yeah, well, we are planting a garden here. How about y'all? Anybody planting a garden? We're 
we're thinking about it, but we pro I mean, we do tomatoes every year, but uh, we're taking some thought about actually doing, uh, you know, some raised beds and shit, but that probably won't happen this year. What about you, Nick? You thinking about doing any gardening? Gardening? Yeah. You know, where? that thing where you, you know, you are in a garden apartment, so it only makes sense that you would, you know, have a garden. Nah, people flick too many cigarette butts in there. <laughs> so it's and there's a lot of dog excrement everywhere as well. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell the difference between the ground and the excrement, you know? <laughs> it's brown, but you don't want to put a seed in it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fair. Well, maybe they should call it the ashtray apartment. It would be an interesting, uh, you know, I wonder if I, like, planted some tomato seeds in a pile of dog shit, if the tomatoes <laughs> would taste like dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> dog they shit tomatoes. They probably taste delicious. Yeah, hmm. delicious dog shit. All right. Well, anyway, so you're not planting a garden. Got it. We apparently are, unless, of course, I have to work on another paper. Then I'll probably get out of it. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, um, if you're not doing anything next week, uh, you know, why don't you come back next week and, and we'll talk some more. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, where have you been going? I mean, going, we've been doing it thus far. Where you, have I been going? Yeah. You've been disappearing from the pod and then reappearing as if by magic. Assholes keep calling me. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Is it the same assholes? No. Two, two separate assholes. I see. Mm. 69 okay. assholes tied in a knot. I don't know. <laughs> God, I'm... That was, that, I'm really surprised that answer didn't win, quite frankly. I voted for it. What do you, what do you mean that, that we, answer? We were playing Quiplash, which is like Cards Against Humanity, but yeah. like you type online. the answer. Yeah, yeah, online. Okay. And that was the answer, my answer for something. I see. And it didn't win. I can't. What are we even? What, are, what phrase did I just say? <laughs> You said 69 assholes. Oh, yeah, you. yeah, 69 assholes tied in a knot. Yeah. It was like, what's, what's coming for Christmas this year? So, <laughs> yeah, like, you know yeah. what my favorite one was? What? And I'm surprised this one didn't win either. It said, what really cracked the Liberty Bell? And my answer was <laughs> Benjamin Franklin's diseased hog. <laughs> <laughs> what? Benjamin Franklin's diseased what? <laughs> like, like diseased cock or what? Yeah, yeah, but I said hog. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Franklin's diseased hog. Yeah, okay, got it. And that did that win? Uh, I don't it won no. to me. Yeah, okay. It won to me. It won to me. It won everything. That was my finest creation right there. Well, I was I'm, possessed by a muse straight out of the Greek pantheon at that moment. I can't tell you how proud I am of you, son. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, kids, it was great to talk to you again, and uh, I, I sure hope uh, all of y'all have a good week. Uh, yeah. A Shin Show is a production of Shinfluence. It features the voices and opinions of the Shin family, which are entirely and exclusively their own. It's brought to you on a fake basis each week by Zips Fine Dining in Invercargill, New Zealand, and by the Church of Universal Energy and the Infinite Multiverse, a made-up construct that will only reveal its secrets if you send all of your money care of this podcast. And be sure and join us again next week when you'll hear Nicholas Shin say... I took a shit that looked and felt like a 10-pound tube of hamburger, of ground chuck. <laughs> but you're saying that now, which means, makes me think I'm, it's... <laughs> you're going to hear that next week. Oh, it I hasn't see. happened yet. I'm, I see. I'm, I'm working on something here. You understand? <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, that's fair enough. All right. Well, hey, listen to our two listeners, Chris and Ben. If you've made it this far, I'm going to give you another hoodie. You just need to let me know. All right. So anyway, thanks again, kids. I sure love you. Uh, love you too. Bye-bye. Love you too. Love you. Bye. Love you. I'm bye. I'm away. Later, Gator.